Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, there have been so many limited editions that have been released by companies over the past couple years, especially within the last two or three. They have basically been abundant in the in the watch market. <clears throat> Today we're going to be discussing a limited edition that was released by Automas Pige. It is the Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar China Limited Edition. I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on how it looks like. Um, just so that you know, I do not have this watch with me. <clears throat> I'm simply looking at the photos that I've seen as well as some reviews that I've seen by other people who've, who've had the opportunity to touch them. So <clears throat> I do not have this watch. If you're looking for that, you might want to find another video. But I'm going to give you my initial impressions on the watch. I'm going to give you some details on <clears throat> why it's a limited edition, what what special features there are about it. And then obviously the pricing and my, my kind of thoughts on it. So that's going to be the topic for today. But if you are new to the channel, welcome to Life on the Nurse. We create videos about watches. So if you like those types of videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and check out our other videos. Also, while you're by that subscribe button, be sure to just give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out. So Automas PGA, it's one of the most well-known watch companies in the, in the world. Obviously a Holy Trinity brand. Um, and um, this watch is actually celebrating their, um, basically one of their, um, I would say one of watchmaking's best markets, which is um, the Asian market, specifically in China. This watch um, is obviously a royal oak. It has a perpetual calendar movement in it, so you're getting extremely high quality watchmaking when it comes to uh, from from AP. Um, the watch, um, kind of going into the details about it, the watch is actually fully in titanium. This is the first time that Automas PGA has actually produced a watch completely made out of titanium. Um, there was a previous one that was t uh, titanium and another metal that I'm forgetting, but this is the first time that they're actually making the bracelet and the case out of titanium. The watch weighs 104 uh, grams, which is obviously extremely light when it comes to watches. Um, that's actually, you probably won't even notice it on the wrist. And um, being that it's for the Chinese market, it's a Chinese market limited edition watch. <clears throat> there are red accents around um, the outer ring and there are red accents on the, the actual watch, the weak indicators, and then also comes on a rubber strap. This watch um, measures 41 millimeters in diameter. So again, just like any Royal Oak, extremely wearable. Got that sporty vibe to it. It has this really cool slate gray dial, which um, um, kind of a lighter gray um, dial that I think has a lot more depth to it. Um, it has gold hour markers. It's got 20 meters of water resistance. So it's probably not something that you want to take diving. Um, I would ha guess that if you're having a perpetual calendar Royal Oak, you probably want to just keep it special, if, especially if it's limited edition. And then if you flip the watch over, obviously you're going to end up seeing that gold rotor that is pretty iconic when it comes to uh, Automat PG. Um, the watch runs off the caliber 5134 movement, which is one of um, AP's in-house movements. It's got um, the complications that it houses is the hours, minutes, um, perpetual calendar, week indicator, and moon phase complications. So um, I think the per per perpetual calendar is actually one of the most useful uh, complications that can possibly be put in a watch. Um, that's, I think you basically have everything that you need to see on your wrist, especially if you have a weak indicator as well. I think that's even more um, useful. Also, if you know me, I love the moon phase complication. So having a moon phase on this watch, again, brings those romantic feels to classic watchmaking, which is really cool. Um, all of this within a Royal Oak, so an extremely desired watch um, just on the surface, then it has a really amazing complication. It has amazing complications in encased in it. So that combination is, is kind of a home run when it comes to um, AP. And I know that not limited editions, but AP uh, Royal Oak Perpetual Calendars are extremely desired within, within the collector's world. This watch is going to be made in 88 pieces. The reason why Automat PGA chose the number 88 is because the number 88 is actually a lucky number in China. This watch is also only going to be available in mainland China's, or Automat PGA boutiques that are located in mainland China. So 88 pieces for a country that has a massive population, which means their watch, watch collecting um, community is probably even bigger <laughs> than, than what you are expecting. 
this watch is going to retail for 78,300 US dollars. So not a cheap watch, um, but definitely a very cool looking watch and one that if you are in mainland China and are an AP uh, collector and you have good relationships with individuals at the AP boutique, it's something that you should go and uh, check out. Um, so that's kind of the details about the watch. Let me give you kind of my initial thoughts on, on the watch. I don't know, um, you know, limited editions have been released so often and there are so many companies that are re just releasing limited editions over and over again. And a lot of people question, is this, are companies overdoing it with limited editions? Are they really limited if you just continuously make limited editions? And, you know, I can see their arguments, you know, people continuously releasing limited editions just seems like, uh, you know, why don't you just release the ones that we all love and just continue to, to, to produce those because we will end up buying them. But on the other hand, I also think, you know, having limited editions means you're gonna get collectors who like to collect nuanced versions of one watch. So if you end up creating a lot of limited editions, you create kind of like, um, you create anticipation and, and enjoyment and kind of engagement by those types of collectors and people want to get those limited editions. I would say if limited editions were not selling as quickly as they were, then limited editions are probably a bad, bad idea. But because every single time a limited edition drops, especially from AP, they sell out extremely quickly. I don't think I, I don't think they're being overdone. They're, it's just a smart thing that the, the company is doing. Um, I think this is a testament to the fact that AP is recognizing that China and the Asian market is an extremely important part of their kind of um, client makeup. You know. If you look at um, statistics when it comes to uh, Swiss watch exports, Asia is a massive market, absolutely huge. I think this is them recognizing that that China is a, is a big part of that market and kind of, I think, kind of appreciating the fact that people enjoy that and creating a watch specifically for them probably will make the consumer a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, they, they feel like AP is trying to create a relationship with them and they are acknowledging the fact that they are, are, are a good client for them. So um, a recognition of a good market for AP, but also a recognition of just a, a good market for watches in general. Um, so uh, that's kind of my thoughts on the, the fact that it's Chinese edition. I mean, there, there really is no, no doubt about it. This is an absolutely beautiful watch. I don't think one can say that it is not. It's a beautiful watch. It's a really beautiful complication. I think it's cool that they've done done it in a limited um, quantity for a specific market and the fact that you can only buy it in that market kind of means that um, you know the Chinese market are the ones who are probably going to get all of these. Um, so those are my th that's my thoughts on the AP Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar Chrono or Perpetual Calendar China Chinese Edition uh, China Limited Edition. Um, it's a cool watch. Um, if you want to see more about it, um, it's all over the, the internet. So be sure to check that out. Um, Today's Wednesday. Uh, on Monday, we discussed what watches I would look to buy in 2020. This is just me giving you some thoughts on what watches I think you would definitely enjoy in the year, in over this next year. Um, I kind of broke it up in a couple categories because I know we're probably not all looking for one specific watch. So, give you a couple options there. Um, tomorrow or Friday, we're gonna have another similar video to this. Um, I will not give away what we're gonna be talking about, but I'm looking forward to making that as well. Um, also, uh, and I said in the beginning of the video, but if you are new to the channel, welcome to Life on the Wrist. We create videos about watches, so be sure to um, check out our other videos. Also, if you're looking for any vintage watches, we sometimes source a couple, so be sure to check our website. I'll put a link in the description uh, for our website where we have our blog as well as our vintage watch shop. Um, if you are looking for something specific, get in contact with us. We'd love to help you out and, and have you join the Life on the Wrist family. So. Um, definitely do that. Also, if you haven't, be sure to smash the like button for us. It really does help us out. Um, it pushes it out to more watch pe watch collectors and people who enjoy watching videos about watches. So um, be sure to smash that like button. It really does help us out. Again, I'm sorry I don't have this watch with me, but um, you know, 88 pieces only in China. Uh, there were some logistical problems with finding this watch. So um, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.